I'm going to be teaching you how to make a balloon caterpillar. This is how the finished product will look. So you want to take one green, 260 green balloon and blow it up. Next you want to let out some air to create a good sized tail. You want a long tail on this one because there's a lot of twists that go into it. The more twists that go into a balloon, the longer of a tail you need. So you want it to be about this long, maybe a little bit longer because as you're going to see, my, my balloon was a little bit tight. So then you, you want to make a twist, and grab it by the twist, let out ear, and then tie a long knot. So the next part in the caterpillar creation process is to create the mouth of the caterpillar. And to do that, you take a piece of the balloon, fold it over on it to itself, create a twist, and tie in the end by the knot into that twist. Now you're going to complete the mouth of the balloon and to do that you're going to take a one inch bubble and twist it in by the mouth and then, and then you want to do the same thing for another bubble. Look at that, we're making this caterpillar come alive one step at a time. So now that we've got the he head of the caterpillar complete, now it's time to create the body. And to do that, you make a 2 to 3 inch bubble, then you're going to want to create a 1 inch bubble, tw twist that into it, and you create another 1 inch bubble and twist it into it. And basically, you're going to do that three more times, so and I I'm not going to bore you through my talk, so I'll let some music play. Now finally, after all that twisting, contorting, bending, and maneuvering, we have the completed caterpillar body. So now we're on to the next step. So you want to take an orange 260 balloon, blow it up. You don't need to blow it up that much because we're only going to be using a small part of it on the caterpillar. So what you want to do is take the long end created by the knot and then tie it into this section shown here. So then... To create the orange part on the caterpillar, what, what you do is you take one bubble and then by the, by the twist where they meet together, twist it all together and then you're going to do the, the same thing a, a, again. And I, I would do it three times here, but the thing is, I, like I said, my, my tail was too short so I, I was a little bit worried that it might pop the balloon. Obviously, we don't need that massive balloon on the end, so what you want to do is take some scissors and cut off the tail of it, let out the air of it, and then you can just wrap the balloon and into the caterpillar body, and then that will seal off and prevent any air from leaking out. Also, cut off that orange end that I didn't do here, and then we have completed the second step. Now we're on to the third step, which is to make the eyes. So what you do is you take a white balloon, and you only need a little bit of it to be blown up because we want the eyes to be relatively small, unless you, you want a mutant caterpillar. Now, tie your knot in it as usual, and then you're going to want to tie a knot in the, the other end so that ear doesn't leak out and you can cut off that end. So then what you do is you just twist the white balloon roughly around the midpoint of it, and then you're, you're going to squeeze it into the caterpillar's head, like, like a, I'll position it. And,
And then that is the completion of the third step. And now for the last but certainly not least step, which is to attach antennas onto our caterpillar to make him come fully alive. So you want to blow just a little bit of air into the balloon because the eye antenna bubbles aren't that big, just like the eye bubbles aren't that big. And you want to leave half of the ear on that end, and then you're going to want to try to push up the other half of the ear onto the other end. It's kind of difficult. You have to just keep on pushing the ear along and kind of grabbing it so that there's no gap for the ear to travel back into the other end. But you'll get it eventually. And what you want to do is grab the balloon roughly by the middle and then you're going to tie it into the head of the caterpillar. And now we have our finished product, the caterpillar.